All right, so here's a typical C grade criterion. Okay, if you have a look at the data, um, you'll notice that generally not a lot of um, uh, E2, uh, quite a lot of E3, and uh, only really towards the end of the race they get into the VO2 max zone. Okay, typically C grade racing. So how do you win a C grade race? Well, you can sit in or whatever, but you know, obviously the person and these, th this data is collected from from guys that are riding and winning and winning or getting places in the racing. So obviously, you know, they're riding around the bunch and they're just cruising really. And in the last two laps, that's when the race really happens. The rest of the time, it's like it's not a race. You know, I mean, you see the speed going up and down and stuff, but you know, look at the end. Look what's happening. You know, they've done a few attacks and stuff, and everybody's a bit worn out. And at the end, you know, they're just cruising around waiting for the last couple of laps. See the speed, the blue line? Just waiting around for the last couple of laps. And then it goes bang, full on. And anybody that can't ride at those sort of speeds, see how they're ramping up, ramping up, ramping up? That's what's happening, you know, to the final sprint. So it's pretty easy to win a C-grade race. All you've got to do is work on that high-intensity training and cruise around with the, with the guys during any of the bunch, and you'll win a C-grade race. I mean. It's fair to say, I think, too, that obviously in the last two days you guys have seen, you've actually trained harder than that. You've actually trained harder than that car that you just showed. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Now, here's a, here's a typical B grade race. All right, I uh, noticed a little bit, little bit of different things happening there. Uh, what's happening at the beginning of it? No, they're riding pretty hard, right? And then, then they get about halfway through the race, 30 minutes into it, and they're all smashed themselves to bits, right? Right? That's what's happened. No, because if they hadn't smashed themselves a bit, they wouldn't be riding an E3. Okay? So the rest of the, rest of the race are cruising around until what happens at the end? What happens at the end? Same thing. Last two or three laps. Yeah. You know, look at the heart rate. Okay? B grade race. All right? And look how they slouch around in the middle. It's like they're almost dropped down into, into their uh, recovery zone. At, at one point. Is that the winner or just uh, Well, these are, these are the guys that are winning, you know, winning or placing in the races. Oh, yeah. All right? Okay. Now we're going to go to um, A grade, okay? You ready for it? All right. What's happening there? Four, two, four, right. All right. So what do you need to do to win an A grade race? Is rolling, rolling around Beach Road, you know, doing 82% of your heart rate, you know, pulling a few turns, is that going to cut it? That'll get you 10 laps in an A grade race. If you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so if you want to ride A grade, you know, you're wasting your time uh, riding along, you know, in, in anything less than your VO2 max zone. All right. 